A hypothetical situation. Hard to believe, but who knows, could be true. A man has a relationship with a woman. The woman becomes pregnant. And during this time, the woman assaults the man without any provocation, and the man is injured, and the man is scared of this woman, and the man breaks up with this woman and wants nothing to do with her again, but still would like to be a father to his unborn child. Well, the man shows up on the child's birthday in the hospital when he's born, only to find out another man has just left. He cut the baby's umbilical cord. He claimed he was the father. And then the man finds out, the real father, that the birth certificate has been falsified, not even showing him, like forged, not even showing him as being the father of the child. Then the man finds out a short time later that this unknown man has taken his child and ran off to some other city, who knows where. Well, do you, would you call that kidnapping? <laughs> I would. Also, the mother of the child is nowhere to be found either. Hmm. Well, of course, the real father of the, of the child has to search for his son. He has no evidence to show the police that he's even had a child because the mother falsified the birth certificate. And the person in the hospital, the man who was there, claimed to be the father. So, this man eventually finds his son and guess what? The man who stole his son is still claiming to be the father. But wouldn't that be kidnapping? Some unknown person takes somebody's child, takes them to his city to live in his home. Is that not kidnapping? And claiming to be the father when he's not? And falsified documents? Hmm. Stranger stories have happened. You know, there's no moratorium on kidnapping. That means that it's like child abuse and other things. So long as it happened, it doesn't matter how many years ago it happened, it's still against the law, there's no time period, and they can, that person can be arrested at any time in the future. Now imagine that that real father takes that mother to court and gets an order made that that child, his real son, could be allowed to see him at any time. Do you think that child should be allowed to see his real father, considering his real father has done nothing wrong? No accusations whatsoever? You know, in Canada, when a child is over the age of 12, they can make that decision anyways, if they want to see another parent or not, whether they grew up with that parent or not, it doesn't matter who was in custody. But if there's actually a legal contract that always gave that child a right to see their real parent, don't you think that child should be allowed to see their real parent? Not it be hidden by their mother and denied by their mother? Contracts are contracts. Well, I must say, if you knew a person like this, a woman and a man who would do such a terrible thing to an innocent father, don't ever talk to them. Who knows what they could do to you? Just do not communicate with them. Even though this may be a hypothetical situation, there's probably some people in this situation who are so evil that they would do anything to destroy you if the truth came out. So please do not communicate with anybody who could have done such a thing. Thank you for listening.